Well, the headline that came out of this afternoon's press briefing here in Rome was that a new English translation from Monday's Relatio has now been published. Now, remember, the Relatio is that document that caused all the uproar because of how it spoke of valuing, valuing homosexual orientation. Now, because of that translation, the entire media world, the whole world went nuts and said, ah, oh, published headlines, the church says gay is okay, and etc." The new one, the new English translation, changes the meaning of the original English translation. But it's important to note that the Italian is the official, and that didn't change at all. It still says that people of a homosexual orientation, that we must welcome and accompany them. That's what the original Italian said. Now, Father Federico Lombardi, the Vatican spokesman, said that a quick sort of rough translation was originally given in English. As a matter of fact, he said he did it, and now that has been changed. That English translation was, of course, the one that caused the earthquake throughout the world and produced zillions of headlines saying, you know, everything's fine about homosexuality. But right after the announcement that a new English translation had been produced, at the press briefing this morning came the immediate announcement that it too is not fully accurate and is not the official translation. And this is crazy and this highlights the issue we've spoken about multiple times. The English translations that the Vatican produces have routine problems with them, all kinds of errors and bad misleading translations. Uh, there seems to be kind of, I don't know how you would say, like a total disregard for, for English here at the Vatican. You know, English is the most important language in the modern world. It's the language of culture, of currency, and everything else. It is the dominant culture's language for the entire planet. It's the language of the dominant culture. It's like the empire. So to continually mess it up is mind-boggling. Now, the other piece of news is that the summaries of the small, cir small circle discussions of this past week were released to us in the press room. Small circles where the work of wrestling with that troublesome document, the Relatio, was done. There were 10 small circles in various languages, English, Italian, French, Spanish. Journalists were also told that we would not be getting anytime soon a copy of the final report on Saturday when this is all done. Now, Vienna's Cardinal Schomburn was the major figure at today's press conference. He said he was very surprised by the great interest from the worldwide press in this particular Synod on the Family. An Italian couple, a husband and wife, said they were happy to take part in the synod. They said they greatly sensed the love of the church for all people. And then came the language of positive values in imperfect situations. We need a fresh start, one of the, the wife of the couple said, the announcement of the beauty of the family. The words welcoming and accompanying were repeated often for those in irregular situations. There's an awful lot of talk about walking people through life. These are quotes, but again, there's very little explanation of what that means in the, in the specific. I mean, accompanying somebody, walking them through life. What, what does that mean and how is that different from what people in the church have already done? Cardinal Schoenberg was asked about the sacrament of confession. Had it been discussed in the synod? And he responded, it had come up, but perhaps not a lot, which is a little odd. Schoenburn also said that respect for every human does not mean the church will respect every human behavior. Good sign. But he said in some, when looking at persons, this kind of sat like badly with a few people. Do not look first in the bedroom, but look first in the living room. A rather ambiguous day overall from just about any angle you look at it.